Bo Nickel of Penn State. Uh, here as Penn State beat Ohio State, Shane Sparks, Trek Wrestling, Bo. Big matchup tonight, the rematch from the final last year at 174, now up at 184 with Miles Martin. You've gotten the better end of this rivalry uh, for the most part with the exception of that NCAA final. Uh, thoughts heading into the match and the way that you wrestled? Um, I, felt, I felt excited to get out there and compete. You know, it was a great crowd and uh, awesome arena here, so I was excited. Uh, to, to get out there and wrestle and uh, you know it's a big match so I look forward to those big matchups and it was a lot of fun to get out there and do what I do what I love definitely. You're always looking for the big stuff. Jim Gibbons talked about it during the broadcast when you're on bottom you're looking for a pin. I mean you are a home run hitter in every sense of the word. When was that instilled and, and how was that instilled that philosophy that way that you wrestle? Um, I don't know I just I go out there I'm trying to score points continuously and put people on their back get bonus points get pins and stuff so I kind of just always wrestled that way and uh, you know, I'm not really looking to go out there and get a 3-2 win because for me that's that's not really enjoyable. I want to go out there and put points on the board, scramble and have fun. So that's just that's just who I am as a person, I think. How nice was it to, to right the wrong tonight? Any you know, any kind of solace in that or um, not necessarily? No, not really. I mean I I treat every match the same. Go out there and, and compete to the best of my ability. So I mean just because uh they went that way doesn't necessarily mean that <laughs> I just uh want to go out there and, and wrestle the same each and every match and there's a lot to yeah, I got it. There's a lot to uh, improve on moving forward, and I'm excited to get back and get into practice and work on some more things. You guys, same story. Everybody's loose, dancing, relaxed. I think every interview we've done, somebody's been messing around behind me. What, what's it like being a part of this, and, and, and how, you know, how important is that for you guys to just stay loose? You guys got to get intense at times, maybe just not in, not in front of everybody else. Right. I mean, there's definitely times where uh, we're in practice, we're in there to work, we're in there to go hard and, and get better and improve, but I just feel like that's... That's who we are as people, you know, we're not uptight and uh, so super serious, so we're just being true to ourselves and, uh, you know, not really trying to put on a show for anybody. We're just being who we are and that's who we are. What are you looking forward down the stretch? 184, uh, pretty pretty fun weight class. Yeah, it's definitely fun. Uh, I just, I look forward to every time I get to step out on the mat and wrestle, so, I mean, it's my favorite thing to do. I My favorite part of every day is going to practice. My favorite part of the weekends is getting to compete, so just every time I get a go on the mat I know it's a blessing from God and an opportunity that I get to uh, give glory to him and so it's just it's awesome every experience. I at least got to ask you at 184 bumping up obviously Gabe Dean two-time national champion how often do you think about about him and, and respect what he brings to the table as an opponent? Right I mean he's definitely a tough competitor so it's definitely something that I'm looking forward to getting to, to wrestle with him and stuff so it's something that I'm thinking about a little bit and uh, but I mean at this point I'm just taking it one match at a time still got a long way to go until we get there, so I'm just looking to improve every day and every match. Thanks a lot, Bo. Yeah, thank you.